Another sack. Chicago's defense all over the place. Fourth down, 22, with 125 to go in the third. It is a busy day for Ezekiel. Huel, dragged down by Anthony Johnson. Hand off to Huel. Gain of six, second and four. Huell gets the carry gain of one. If Chicago ends up holding on, that means that the entire league will be in between two and seven and seven and two. Five games separating last and first. Toss play to Lopez. He's got the first down, a whole lot more out to the 43 yard line. Lopez, first down. Lopez, wide open hole, first down to the 30. Earl Lopez and Dante Huell collectively having their best game. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. Chicago 24, Louisville 8. Ghost trying to hang on and get their second win of the season. Pyatt hands off to Huell. Nothing there. That time it was for sure O'Reilly on the tackle. Second and 11 on the 32. Ochente Ocho in motion. He gets the reception out to the 23, third and two. Eight catches, 115 yards and two touchdowns for Ochenta Yocho and he's still adding to his stats. Hand off to Huell. Pushing ahead. Riley jumped on his back and moved him forward. First down, Huell and the Ghosts. Goes perfect when they get inside the 20. Play action. Pyatt end zone. Incomplete. I thought he had his foot in bounds. Pass intended for Parrish. Greer makes the play, but a gain of just three. Third and seven. And Chicago taking valuable time off the clock.
Pyatt to throw. Pyatt in zone. That's overthrown. Still caught, but incomplete. Mike Brooks on to attempt a field goal. This is big. It makes it a three-score game. Brooks' kick. You bet. 27-8. This kick all the way to the back of the end zone. Hoffman steps out. Goes up by 19. Hey, Adeli, plenty of time to throw. Heaves it. Picked off. Ghost returning it all the way to the Wolfpack 40. What a game for the Ghosts. The Ghosts and their fan base needed this one badly. Six seventeen remaining. First and 10 to the Wolfpack, 39-yard line. Pyatt back in the game, trips to the left. Greer in motion, handoff Huell. Huell to the 30, to the 25, now to the 23-yard line. Six ten to play in the fourth quarter. The league's best team going down. Empty backfield for Chicago. Pyatt over the middle to Parrish inside the 20 gain of four. With Skeletor Funk out, Chicago rolling. Two backs in the backfield. Pyatt. Pyatt looking. Looking. Sack. Too much time. Loss of seven. Fourth sack for the Ghosts that they've given up. 16 hurries as well. Third down, 13. Five and a half to play. Five of 12 on third downs. Hyatt to pass. End zone. Incomplete. Ochenta Yocho, the intended receiver. So Mike Brooks on again. Two for three, long of 34. This is from 44 yards away. Mike Brooks kick. He's three of four. It's good. 30 to eight. And they get the field goal off the interception. Hoffman brings it out. Hey, Adele, deep, wide open. Matt dials to the forty six. Adele looks deep again. Matt Dials. Oh, it was just a little bit. A little bit underthrown. Hey, Adele's pass complete. Maiden Hill in the end zone.
Huell takes the handoff. Gain of four. Knox makes the play, but not before Huell gets to 100 yards. Pyatt completes. Greer gain of five as the clock just continues to roll. Pyatt to throw. Over the middle. Wide open Greer into Louisville territory. Can Chicago stack points on the Wolfpack? Monday night at 10, not Sunday like I said previously. Monday nights at 10, the WAFL Report returns to Blog Talk Radio presented by the Sidos Sports Network with host Jim Crum. Make sure to listen. Go to WAFLfootball.com and click the Blog Talk Radio link. Monday night. Three twenty-eight to go in the game. Third and ten. Three twenty and counting. Ghosts look impressive today, especially on the defensive end. Empty backfield, Pyatt under center. And now he will waste some clock. Under three to play. Pyatt to throw over the middle. Wide open. First down. Ochenta Iocho. And Pyatt is now over 200 yards passing. 22 of 32. Pyatt under center. Down to 227 to go in the game. Earl Lopez. Big hole up the middle. Lopez picks up seven. Down to 210 to go. Pyatt under center, and the clock will continue to wind down. And Pyatt will actually snap it. Wide receiver screen. That's a first down. Inside the 15 with two to play. Well, it's very debatable whether this performance by Connor Pyatt will save his job in Chicago or not. I guess we'll wait on owner Logan's, Logan Foster's decision. Hand off to Dante Hill. Yo to the five. Yo touchdown. 36-8. With 128 on the clock. Extra point by Brooks. He almost missed it, but it's good. Ten play, 81-yard drive, 37-8. Hoffman, two yards deep in his end zone, brings it out. No blockers there. Can't get past the 20. And now a penalty, false start. Louisville can't get out of Chicago fast enough. Randleman called for the penalty. Yeah. 